Good morning, gang. I'm out here on a little lake. It's got a lot of rocks. And I've got a bunch of crankbaits, some cranking sticks, and I'm just gonna crank some riprap this morning and see if I can get something to happen here. The cranking riprap's pretty good in the summertime, the warmer months. What you wanna do is position your boat fairly close to the riprap and then try to parallel the rocks and make constant contact with the rocks and when you're getting in good spots, you know, making those pauses and whatnot. But it's all about boat positioning, and keeping in contact with that cover. I've got a mid-depth crankbait on. It's about a six to 10. Just reeling it real slow, came up over rock. Just a little guy, come here. Just a little guy, hit it like a ton of bricks though. That's a good sign. We'll see if we can get another one. You gotta wanna make sure you're trying to, you know, see where the bait fish are, you know, look at your electronics and kind of base your crankbait decision off that. If you're seeing a lot of activity close to the rocks, that's a good idea to uh, just go real shallow, square bill and, and get up right next to the rocks. Um, but what I like about this mid depth is, you know, I can get pretty close to the rocks. I can also, there's one right there. Got him. Got him. That one was right on the rocks. Right on the rocks. And that was just what I was talking about. You know, I can take this crankbait and I can, I can get right up there close or I can get out there about eight to 10 feet and cover, cover a lot of depth. I can't get out there real deep with it, but. God, this guy, these fish are fighting so hard. There's another one. It's a little bit bigger. That was kind of a, a soft bite. A lot of times it happens with those crankbaits. It's good to have a, a softer rod, but another good one. You know, it's not a giant, but we'll take him. And uh, so. You know, six foot or less is kind of what I'm seeing so far. So this is a good depth crankbait. I'm gonna keep going with it. This is what gets those bites, guys, is you're banging your crankbait into the rocks or whatever bait it is. You know, you could throw a, a spinner bait as well. Um, but it's bouncing on those rocks. The fish can hear that, they feel that. Little guy. Had him hooked all kinds of weird. He was just real shallow up on the rocks. But he swiped it, you know. Didn't really eat it that great. That's why it's important to have a soft rod when you're cranking. You can catch those fish instead of jerking it away from them. I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. Go with a square bill, same kind of concept though. I'm switching up from, uh, you know, a, about an eight foot diving crankbait to uh, about a four. Um, a little bit more of a square bill on this one, but gotta retie no matter what. You know, when you're fishing this riprap, you wanna, you wanna retie probably every 50 casts or so, uh, depending on how rough it is, but I mean, my line's just frayed all up the last uh, couple of feet of the line. So you want to retie. I'm using 10 pound test. And again, I'm going with a bright color because it's just dirty. All right, so we're going to give that a shot. I'm going to try a little bit shallower on this stretch. I've noticed there's a couple of shallower spots right here. There's a fish. Yeah, there's something about the spot. Still got him? Yeah, I got him. Little guy. Oh, he came off. So I got one more bite on that little stretch. But, um, you know, the sun's coming up. Usually the best time to do this riprap cranking is in the low light hours that I found. So 
um, you know, morning, evening, even at night, it's really good. But I've got a little bit longer. It's almost, uh, it's 8.30, so um, sun's coming up quick. I'm gonna try to, another stretch. I'm gonna run over here and try to get another couple bites before uh, the bite is over. So we'll see. There he is. Got him. Slow bite. But I got him. These little guys are strong. Oh, there we go. Swiped it. There's a the helicopter. Hey! I caught him. Now he's just kind of just kind of lightly grabbed it, which uh, I think this bite's over. So, you know, this is typically how I like to start out my mornings in the summer. I'll, uh, I'll start with a crankbait or spinnerbait and kind of go to some riprap or something that some bait is on. And I'll fish that for the first couple hours of the day, and then I'll move on to throwing a jig or a Texas rig, kind of kind of target some of those areas where I was getting bites, slow down, or go to some uh, more specific cover, you know, it was like some standing timber or, or docks or something like that. But starting off with the crankbait is always good in the summer. And um, you wanna make sure you're, you're using a, a, a soft rod. You know, I'm using a seven foot medium action rod. It's meant for cranking. And uh, I was using a 6.3 gear ratio reel. Um, don't need to go too slow because it's summertime and 10 pound test fluorocarbon line. So that's a good, good little setup for cranking on this riprap. I hope you guys learned something and I'll catch you later. Go down there, knock the end of the bait and it knocks it out. So it's a good little trick when you're cranking. Save you some time from getting out a lure retriever and you know, messing around with that thing. Fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh, broke you off. Told you, bro. I told you. Fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh. Dude, that was insane. That was a heck of a pull, right? Wow.